In this video, I'm going to talk about physical and chemical properties and also what is physical or chemical changes. But before starting to explaining about this concept, if you would like to watch more video about chemistry, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to start with physical properties. What is physical property? It's a characteristic that can be observed for a material without changing in its composition or chemical identity. Here is the list of famous physical properties like color, boiling point, melting point, density, and ductility. How we should know these properties of physical property? Because when we Observing this property, composition of compound doesn't change. For example, if I watching a compound that it has a blue color, by observing of this composition, the material doesn't change. Or if I heat water to convert it to steam, to gas, composition of this compound, which is H2O, it doesn't change during this process. So Boiling point is a physical property because during this changing, nothing happened for composition of water. Same for melting point. If I melt iron and convert iron, which is solid, to liquid, to molten iron, still it is iron. The atoms for iron, the composition of iron doesn't change during this process. Only physical state of iron convert from solid to liquid so these are physical property and if we have a change in physical state of compound we call it physical change let's have some more examples for physical changing if i cut paper by scissors i only change paper to a smaller pieces during this process the material of paper doesn't change so it is a physical change if i dissolve sugar in water by dissolving of sugar in water to make solution of sugar in water when we taste this solution still it's sweet it's clearly tell us the property of sugar doesn't change during this process so sugar as a solid was sweet and after dissolving in water still it's sweet so these are physical property or if I heat ice and convert it to water, composition of this compound doesn't change. Only physical state from solid convert to liquid. But this example can be very confusing because we may have the similar process for other compound that cause the changing in chemical property. Like instead of heating of ice, if we heat gasoline, for example, or if we heat alcohol, it can easily burn. By burning of alcohol or gasoline, we don't have a physical change because gasoline convert to carbon dioxide and water by combustion process. So that is going to be a chemical change. Let's have some example about chemical properties and chemical change. Chemical properties is characteristic of material involving in changing of composition of that compound. Here is some example for chemical properties, like reactivity. When we talk about reactivity, we talk about a chemical property, flammability, and chemical stability. Let's have some example. For reactivity, we can say iron, rusting with oxygen and producing iron oxide so rusting is a chemical change or we can say iron is going to react with oxygen so this is a chemical property or flammability i can say water is not flammable so that is a chemical property for water but we need to keep in mind some of these changes it can be sometimes hard to understand Let's make an example. Heating of water to convert to gas. 
It's a physical change. But what happens if we hit paper? The color of paper is changed. It gets brown or black or it may uh, catch fire. So during this process, the composition of paper does change. The color change, the property change. So it is a chemical change. We just explained about addition of sugar to water, which is a physical property. But let's say if I add sodium to water. Dissolving of sodium in water, it is not a physical property. Because sodium is going to react with water and produce sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. And sometimes this hydrogen gas also can catch fire. So it seems uh, look like the addition of sugar to water, but during this process, chemical property of compound does change. So it is a chemical change. The next example is heating of meat or egg during the cooking process. That we have a meat and we heat it. Still we have meat, but this is not a physical change because the property of this uncooked meat and this meat after cooking is completely different. How we should know that? It's very easy. If we eat a uncooked meat and if we eat a cooked meat, you can easily understand the difference in taste and also the difference in digestion of that food. So if we eat the uncooked meat, we may have a lot of trouble for digestion of that meat. So why we have difference in digestion or taste? Because during this process, some chemical change happen. So cooking, heating of the food is always a chemical change. Thank you for watching this video. Again, for watching more video, you can subscribe to this channel.